Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song Hello my baby, hello my honey, hello my ragtime gal That song, okay? I actually don't know exactly what name it is but I think it's called Hello My Baby But anyways, give you a preview of what you're going to learn is the awesome section that goes like this Well, pretty much it's the entire song, it goes like this, check it out Okay, yeah, so it's pretty awesome. It's a kind of ragtime time of song, okay? So we're gonna learn the melody and chords first at the end, and at the end, I'll tell you the uh, left hand pattern to do that kind of like ragtime kind of pattern, okay? But, anyways, here we go. All right, so let's break it up to parts to learn it. Okay, how many parts? Four parts, all right? So, four parts. The first part goes like this right hand starts on the C here, so middle C is here, go up an octave to this C, that's what we start on, so it goes. C, D, C, D, C, and then A, B flat, A, B flat, A, and then G, A, G, A, G, down to D. And that's the right hand for this first part. So you can kind of see a pattern going on for um, every single kind of like quarter of it. Okay, so it goes like this C, D, C, D, C, and then it's a pattern. Uh, it goes down to sequence, down to the A, B flat, A, B flat, A. And then down the sequence again, G, A, G, A, G, down to D. So you can see a pattern, okay? So yeah, hope you can see that pattern because you're allowed to learn it quicker if you can see that pattern. Okay, like this. D, like that. So that's that right hand for the first part. Left hand, we have four chords for this first part. The four chords are, okay, pretty simple stuff. Um, we have two F major chords, which is F, A, C. So two of them. And then followed by the third and fourth chord are both G major chords, which is G, B, D. So two of them as well. Okay, so we're doing block chords first at the end, as I said, I'll tell you the pattern, okay? So yeah, one more time. The four chords are two F major chords, followed by two G major chords. All right, the two hands together goes like this, goes C and F major together. So it's together, A and F major together, G and G major together, D and G major together just like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Together, 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 together. And that is the first part, okay? So after you get this first part, let's move on. Right hand goes up to the A, and then G, G, A, G, G, down to the C, and then goes up to F, A, up to C, up to E, D, C. And that's the second part for the right hand, okay? So one more time, so it goes like this. A, G, G, A, G, G, C. Down to, I mean, up to F, A, C, E, D, C. That's my favorite part. Good. Baby, my heart's on fire. That's my favorite, favorite part of the song, okay? So I hope that you enjoyed that part as well because it's pretty awesome, okay? But anyway, enough fanboiling. Let's go again. Okay, so it goes fanboiling, fanboying. Okay, anyway, A, G, G, A, G, G, C. And then F, A, C, E, D, C. So remember that for the right hand for the second part, and you're good to go. Left hand for the second part, we have five chords, because there's actually one passing chord, so it's like extra chord in between the um, second last chord and the last chord, okay? But anyways, yes, okay. So, the five chords are two C majors, which is C, E, G, so two of them. And then the third chord is F major, which is F, A, C. Fourth chord passes to E major, which is E, G sharp, B. And the fifth chord back to F major, which is F, A, C. Okay, so you know the five chords one more time is C major twice, and then F major, E major, F major. With that in mind, the two hands together goes like this A and C major together, C and C major together, F and F major together, E and E major together, C and F major together. Just like that. One more time, so it goes together, together, two, three, four, together, together, together. That is the second part, okay? So, so far, the two parts we've learnt would be played back to back like this. Check it out, so it goes. Just like that, awesome stuff. Now, moving on to the third part. Third part continues, right hand 
goes like this, okay? So it's actually nearly, um, it's pretty similar to the uh, first part with some changes near the end of it. So once again, it goes C, D, C, D, C, A, B flat, A, B flat, A. Once again, it goes G, A, G, A, G. And after this G, another G, D, E, F, like that. So that's the difference, okay? We have, uh, um, I guess, the four last notes, extra four notes, and uh, yeah, it's a little bit different for the last part of it, okay? So one more time for this third part. So it goes, this first um, three quarters of it is the same. C, D, C, D, C, A, B flat, A, B flat, A, G, A, G, A, G, and then changes here, G, D, E, F, like that for the right hand. Yeah, so that's the right hand. Left hand, we have the exact same four chords as the first part, so you know that. It's two F major chords, which is F, A, C, two of them, followed by two G major chords once again, which is G, B, D, so two of them as well. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, so two F majors, followed by two G major chords, okay? Two hands together goes like this. C and F major together, same thing. A and F major together. G and G major together. Second G and G major together. Just like that. And that's the third part. One more time, it goes like this. Together. 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 Okay, so I hope you can see the similarities between this third part and the first part. So you can actually speed learn it. Okay, just, yeah. The only difference, as I said, the right hand is just the last four notes on the right hand is different. It's just G, D, E, F. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, so remember the first part, it doesn't double up with the G at the end, and then the uh, this third part, the at the end part, it just doubles up on the G. So G, G, D, E, F, okay, like that. But anyway, so that's something for you to remember, so it's easier for you to learn. With that in mind, the three parts we've learned so far will be played like this, check it out, so... to the fourth and last part right hand it goes two a's g g a g c a f and that is the right hand for this fourth part one more time so it goes like this it goes a a g g a g c a f and that's the right hand for this fourth and last part okay so yes once you get that left hand we have four chords finishing off the four chords are two c major chords which is c e g so two of them followed by two f major chords f a c so two of them as well okay sort of in essence it's like the same as the second part but did you know the second part has an extra e major passing chord just cancel that and that makes the four chords of this fourth part okay so with that in mind it's two c majors followed by two f major chords the two hands together goes like this a and c major together a and c major together f and f major together f major by itself just like that one more time it goes together 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 here and that is that all right so back to back the four parts we've learned in this lesson goes like this check it out Once you get this melody and chord version very good, then you can consider thinking about the uh, left hand pattern, the kind of like ragtime kind of pattern, okay? The umpa dumpa kind of pattern, okay? So yes, this pattern is really simple for all of the chords, except for the passing chord, sort of, here because you can't play the full pattern there, okay? Or for all of the other chords, uh, this is what you do for this pattern. For example, F major, right? So you want to play the root note, followed by the higher two notes, followed by an octave below of that highest note, and then followed by the higher two notes again. And that's the pattern. So you do that for all, all the chords. So F major for twice. Same thing for G major. So root note, high two notes, low note. And then do that. Same thing for the C major one. So C and then the high two notes, like that. Etc. So you apply this pattern to all of it and it just sounds something like this. Check it out. Obviously the left hand, if you're still a beginner, 
yeah, it requires some hand independence, so it's pretty much uh, a little bit hard for you to do it. So don't worry, if you're a beginner, just practice the melody and chord version, block chord version, until you can get it very smoothly, until you can kind of play it like subconsciously and automatically, then you can try to apply that pattern. And yeah, you know, uh, it change your hand independence as well, because the left hand is kind of doing its own thing. But it's easier because you know the chord, and you're just applying this kind of like formula uh, to that chord, okay? But anyways, that's pretty much it. So hope you enjoyed this lesson. Go ahead, check out my cover that I've done on this song. I added some extra stuff to it to, yeah, make it my own. But anyway, yeah, check that out as well. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you before seeing you. I have other stuff for you to tell you. I haven't said, tell, okay? Anyways, yeah, also, I, I forgot to tell you. So, also, check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, okay? Uh, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me, okay? You learn how to play by ear, how to improvise, how to read sheet music, and a lot other stuff, okay? Now I can say goodbye to you, okay? So, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.